foot pain, you want to spread your fingers. So we're talking about Morton's neuroma, which basically just means your nerve sheath between your toes gets inflamed. Usually it's between the second, you can second, third toe, so right in this area, and then third and fourth toe, right in this area. The nerve sheath gets inflamed and it's painful. Um, and sometimes you go to a podiatrist, they'll put a little pad on here to spread out the space. Here's a simple way to decrease that inflammation. You wanna use your hands. So if you imagine your hands are your feet, between the second and third, you're gonna go up here, okay? In this area right here, we call the metacarpal area. You're gonna press and find that tender spot, okay? And then between the third and fourth, you're gonna press around here. Opposite hand works for opposite foot, okay? You're gonna massage this as many times as you want, Press really hard, go from this side also, right? Don't be picky. Make sure you hit the follow button here on Instagram. Uh, plantar fasciitis and the treatment has been great. Um, he had me up on my feet in no time. Um, and I would definitely recommend, and I have been recommending, Jimmy. So plantar fasciitis is basically pain in the foot. The plantar fascia is basically this fascia right here that's connected to your Achilles tendon that goes up your calf, okay? and so. A lot of times people with plantar fasciitis basically means it's the bottom of the foot pain. A lot of the pain, it actually starts in the heel. So this is my heel. And so you'll notice a lot of the pain is in the heel area, usually at the bottom um, and sometimes on the side. Uh, but today, the, the patient that I'm, that I'm thinking about, she has it along her Achilles tendon, right? So it started here in the plantar fascia and it, it radiated to the Achilles tendon. Because if you think about it, it's like, a, it's, if you imagine a sheath that's covering, that's, you know, that's uh, covering the, the back from the calf all the way to the, you know, to the heel, to the, and all the way to the toes. That's the plantar fascia. So anytime it gets tight, it's going to affect everything from here all the way here up the Achilles tendon and into your calf, right? So one of the things that you can do is you want to, you know, you want to stretch out your calf. Make sure you know you stretch out your calf every single day, every morning. Um, that will start the relief for the plantar fascia pain, your foot pain. And you want to, as you're stretching your calf, you want to make sure you stretch out your Achilles tendon, right? Uh, the Achilles tendon, and then that will actually alleviate the plantar fascia. Uh, so those are the things you want to, you know, start off with. And another thing that you can do is using. So this is my. Let me go back to it. this is my right foot, right? So this is, oops, this is my right foot. So I'm gonna use my left hand. So this is my left hand. In the left hand, what we can do is, another way is to use acupressure. So using uh, my QRA acupressure technique, quick relief acupressure technique, QRA acupressure technique, you can actually alleviate your, your foot pain by actually acupressuring your left hand. So this is my left hand. And so if you imagine this is your foot, okay? Uh, this is your big toe, you know, these are all your toes, and this is your heel area. So if you, you can use your knuckle, you don't need, necessarily need a tool, but if you have a tool, you can use uh, your tool and you just press and find that tender spot. You want to find that super tender spot and then dig in. You want to dig in for 10 seconds and it's going to hurt, okay? If it doesn't hurt, it ain't going to work. Uh, you want to dig in, okay, into it. You can use your knuckle and dig in to that painful spot, okay? And then you want to get on your feet and start walking and see how your, your heel, your foot starts to, your foot starts to feel, okay? You want to start doing that. So if your pain is in your heel, you want to go into your palm, okay? If the pain is actually more in the center of your foot, then you want to go into the center of your palm and you want to dig in to find those sensitive spots. Whatever sensitive spot that you find, you want to dig into it for about 10 seconds. And then you can move your foot around and then walk on it. Because the number one thing, you know, the number one, the, the, the time when people with plantar fasciitis, when they feel the pain, the worst thing is the first thing in the morning when they wake up. And the second thing is after they've been sitting uh, for a long time and that initial step getting up and stretching that plantar fascia, um, that's when it hurts the most. So if you have plantar fasciitis, 
before and you've been sitting, let's say you do, you're an IT person and you're, or you, you have a desk job and you're sitting eight hours, before you get up out of the chair, because you know it's gonna be painful, right? So before you get out of the chair, massage, massage your hands. Massage the palms of your hands, okay? Really massage it for it for about 10 seconds. Just massage and really dig in and then get up out of your chair. I guarantee you, you'll feel less pain doing the massage first before you stand up. All right, guys? Contact us to schedule an initial exam today.